So some of you have asked me, how did I max out my Persona stats? As you've seen from my creations on my community wall with Raul and Pixie, it's actually really easy to get your Persona maxed out in Persona 5 Royal. Because in Persona 5, in the original vanilla version, we only had a certain amount of stat points that we can allocate to our Personas. Not anymore in this game, we can completely max out any Persona because of the new fusion alarm system. So if you want to see me do some Raul builds, um, just let me know down below. I'm down to toy around with Raul. But we're going to make my dream Persona, the Uber Pixie from Nocturne, which is a high level demon with Megadolion. So I've always wanted to make this in Persona 5, but I didn't think it was too viable. But now it is. We can max out all the Pixie stats and make it the true Uber Pixie. So we need to pass down, in my eyes, the strongest magic trait to Pixie. Because in my view, the strongest trait is from Izanagi no Kami, Country Maker, but we can't pass it down to anything because it's the world of Karna, so it's special and it can't fuse anything else. So the second best that we can do is Centineo's Pagan Allure, which is increasing magic attacks by 50%. AoEs or singles, it just boosts magic attack by 50%. So we need to pass Pagan Allure to my Pixie. So first we have to create Centineo. So I have some things already set before this. So the first thing is that I got two network skills, which is Almighty Amp and Magic Ability. If you're asking, Amp boosts Magic Ability, you can still get them the same way, which is through Network Fusion. So however the process you did it in Persona 5, you can also do it here in Persona 5 Royal. And if you're curious about it, all you have to do is just, just throw a level 40 Persona at the very least to Network Fusion and save before that until you get the skill you want, which is either Almighty Amp or Magic Ability. It's very RNG, so you can it might be in the first one that you might get it or it might be the next 50, you don't know. Now, now the reason why I said not Almighty Boost is because you can get Almighty Boost from Messiah. Since it's free DLC, you just have to download Messiah and just level it up until it learns Almighty Boost and then you can just pass it to Pixie. So that's why I didn't care about passing along Almighty Boost right now. So the other two skills I wanted to pass down was Firm Stance, which I got from a skill card from Messiah Piccolo in a Fusion Alarm. And then the last skill I want to pass down is Spellmaster from Lucifer just to reduce the amount of SP we're going to be using. And passing down Megidolion isn't necessary for the Centennial because you can get it from a skill card if you itemize Black Rider in a Fusion Alarm. Now that I've created my Centennial, now I got a reverse fusion to Pixie. So the recipes that I found worked for me. This was the recipe I used. I went Centennial using with Succubus to make a Michelsa deck. And then with Michelsa deck, I fused that with Harati to make Parvati. And then with Parvati, I fused it with Liancid to make Amino Usume. And then with Amino Usume, Usume, I fuse it with Hope Diamond to make Pixie. So the whole process is just trying to get to a lover's arcana persona. So that way you just fuse within the, the lovers and then using a treasure demon to finally get the very first persona of that arcana. That's usually how it works. It may differ between arcanas and personas, but usually this is how it goes. So now that I have my Pixie with the trait that I want and the skills, it's time to max out those stats. So the best way to farm fusion alarms is by having two things. Ryuji rank 7 for insta kill and Chihaya which is the fortune confidant at rank 8 for celestial readings which what it does is when you pay for it it triggers a fusion alarm immediately and increases the rates on that day. So before you enter mementos you want to get all your Chihaya readings that you want to do and then go into mementos. Do not forget to do this because that celestial reading is so so good. It makes the rate so high. It's insane which I'll show you in a bit. Now that you're in mementos it's time to actually showcase what we do in a fusion alarm. It's very simple. Just fuse two random personas. It doesn't matter, just fuse two random ones. Because all that matters is that you want to make a special golden fuse persona during the alarm. This golden persona only lasts in the alarm, but that's fine. Now with that golden persona, we're going to sacrifice it to whatever persona you want to strengthen. In this case, it's Pixie for me. Now when you sacrifice a golden persona that's made from the fusion alarm, you will always trigger an accident. Now these accidents never happened in vanilla, at least it never happened to me. So this sacrifice accident is new. So normally whenever an accident will happen, you will not get the experience, but you will be treated as if you leveled up twice. So you will get six points into your stats. But we can increase it further by using that special golden fuse persona, which will increase our stats from this accident by 10 points. And as well, 
Like I said, the Persona will not level up. So even if your Persona is level 99, it doesn't matter. This accident will still happen and you'll still get your 10 points into your stats. So no need to worry if you think you're gonna miss out because you maxed out your Persona to level 99. So this is why my Pixie was level 47 with 99 and all stats because you can actually have a level 1 Persona have 99 stats. It is possible with this method because you don't level up. It's insane! Alright, so now that we know the process of the Fusion Alarm, it's time to start triggering it. Go to any floor, any block, it doesn't matter. As long as you can insta-kill the enemies in that floor. Because Ryuji's insta-kill can trigger the fusion alarms. So now, I mentioned before, Chihaya's celestial reading makes the rate super high. From my observations, my guesstimation is between 1-3 to three kills that this will trigger. And I'm not even joking, this is an extremely high rate. If it takes more than 3 kills, that's actually rare. And just bad RNG, apologize for that. But just keep killing and you're gonna trigger it any second. Like, it's super fast. So once that happens, just go back to the floor you were on. And then go back to the entrance. And then do the whole fusion alarm process again. Now, we'll wanna mention that sometimes a fusion accident will occur. It's rare, but it will happen. And if that happens, it doesn't matter. Just whatever, you have an extra persona. Just go back and just trigger another fusion alarm. Because it just happens so fast that you can just ignore these accidents you don't have to save beforehand because it doesn't really hurt you in any way it just takes some time away from you but just go back just no big deal just go back and start triggering the fusion alarm again so now the another guesstimation of how long it takes for you to max out your personas it depends first on how high the stats are to begin with because the higher the stats the shorter the time it takes it's just less points to distribute versus personas that are very low level like my pixie i started from single digits so for me it took me roughly an hour of just non-stop just going at it i did take a break here and there so my recording was like an hour and 30 minutes so i had like a 30 minute break but it took me roughly an hour to build my pixie so i want to say it will take 45 minutes to an hour to max out a persona it just depends how high the stats are you repeat this and you will have your dream persona maxed out in all its stats and i want to give a thanks to nathan who gave me the suggestion on my community wall that if i equip the will seat accessory from the second palace i can cover up my gun weakness which is beautiful because now my pixie has time skipped and have given it a build that i am happy with which i put in repel bless and repel curse because i just don't want to get killed by the reaper's insta kills so that's why i have those all right everyone thank you so much for watching and huge props to persona 5 royals alarm system because now we can make our dream personas a reality and if any of you want to see another build then i'm down to do an actual full build on a certain persona you want me to do i've been requested to do ryoshitsune so i will be planning on doing that very soon but if you have any other personas you have in mind then i don't mind doing it just request it down below in the comments and i'll be happy to try to tackle it on so until the next time stay healthy safe and of course, very salty. And now, it's time to test out the Uber Pixie. Showtime! Da!
ほう向かってくるのか Thank you. 